Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking a bunch of Theros Beyond Death packs for patrons. So we have eight packs here. Let's move them aside and introduce the patrons. We have Godly Swamp, Sebastian Blackwell, Pierre Etienne Poulain, and finally Carl Elwood. So we're going to grab two packs each and get stuck into it. Okay, without further ado, Godly Swamp, thank you for being a patron, sir. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So let's hope we can pull a titan or two today, or even some of those uh, god mythics would be nice. Starting off with Triumphant Surge, Sleep of the Dead, Incendiary Oracle, Omen of the Sun, Light Breath Katobalpa, Relentless Pursuit, Nyxborn Marauder, Satessan Training, Irreverent Revelers, there's a bit of a tongue twister, Brian Giant, and this guy looks a bit like the uh, zombie they had in The Walking Dead a couple of weeks back. Uncommons, Wolf Willow Haven, Dawn of Angel, Favoured of Erewis, and a god, yes, Mythic That's a Deep Dwelling, Legendary Enchantment Creature God, 6 5 for 4 with the Constellation artwork, very cool. Indestructible, as long as your Devotion Blue is less than 5, Thassa isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control. Then return that card to the battlefield under your control. For 3 in a blue, tap another target creature. Fantastic pull there. And a Mountain and Human Soldier token. Off to a great start. And it's probably all downhill from here, isn't it? Okay, let's hope not. We have Deny the Divine, Nyxborn Brute. Sentinel's Eyes, Vexing Gull, Relentless Pursuit, Captivating Unicorn, Pious Wayfarer, Warbriar Blessing, Arena Trickster, and Uncommon's Reverent Hoplite, Mischievous Chimera, Dream Shaper Shaman, that's some pretty cool artwork, Minotaur Shaman, and the rare is Nessian Boar. <laughs> creature Boar, 10 6 for 5. All creatures able to block Nessian Boar do so. And whenever Nessian Ball becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller draws a card. And you also get a foil, Annex Hardened in the Forge. Very tasty. With an island and human soldier. So, Godly Swamp off to a great start today. Let's rearrange things here. Moving on, Sebastian Blackwell. Thank you for being a patron. And see if we can pull a god for you here. Starting off with Stampede Rider, Nyxborn Corsa, Vexing Gull, Aspect of Manticore, Nylea's Forerunner, Soul Reaper of Mogus, Omen of the Forge, Altar of the Pantheon, Nylea's Huntmaster, and Uncommon's Entrancing Lyre, Phalanx Tactics, Stinging Lionfish, and the rare is Thassa's Intervention, which is pretty funny because we pulled the Thassa already. Instant for X and 2 blue. Choose one, look at the top X cards of your library, put up to two of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Uh, or you can counter target spell unless its controller pays twice X. Alright. Ooh, a foil rare, Phoenix of Ash. Creature Phoenix 2-2 two, two for 3 with Flying and Haste, 2 and a red. It gets plus two, plus zero on two end of turn. Escape for two and two red. It's all three other cards from your graveyard. And Phoenix Vash escapes with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Nice. And a Mountain and Human Soldier. On to the second pack here for Sebastian. Thank you for being a patron, sir. We have Hero of the Games. Leonin of the Lost Pride. Triton Wave Rider. Relentless Pursuit, Black Breath Katobalpa, Arus' Blessing, Farika's Libation, Witness of Tomorrow's, Rumbling Sentry, Voracious Typhon, and Uncommon's Drag to the Underworld, Escape Velocity, Hateful Eidolon, Spoiler, and you get Temple of Enlightenment. It's a land. Enters Battlefield tapped. When it enters Battlefield, scry one. You can tap it for white or blue. That uh, multicolored thing was a bit of a giveaway. A forest and Pegasus token. So there we go, Sebastian. Thank you once again. Let's see if I can get those in there. All right. And next up we have Pierre Etienne Poulain. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Let's see if we can get another mythic here. 
And how are people finding the set now? It's uh, aging a little bit now. Pretty soon it'll be Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. So that will supplement everything nicely, I think. We have Aspect of Manticore. Omen of the Sun. Deny the Divine. Nyxborn Brute. Nyxborn Colossus. Soul Reaper of Mogus. Omen of the Hunt. Scavenging Harpy. Pious Wayfarer. Captivating Unicorn. And Uncommon's One with the Stars, The Triumph of Annex, Minions Return, and oh, another jewel land here, Temple of Malice, Enter Spadefield Tap. When it enters Spadefield, scry one, you can tap it for black or red. Decent pool, planes, and a wolf token. On to pack number two here for Pierre. Alrighty, what do we have? Hero of the Games! Leonin of the Lost Pride, I think we've been repeating this pattern a little bit lately. Triton Wave Rider, yep. Yeah. Incendiary Oracle, Scavenging Harpy, Scholar Grove Dancer, Revoke Existence, Memory Drain, Counter Target Spell, Scry 2, Unknown Shores, Omen of the Forge, and Uncommon's Entrancing Liar. Hero of the Winds, Careless Celebrant, and it's a 3-4 with flying. It is Archon of Sun's Grace is the rare creature Archon 3-4 four for 4 with flying and lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Interesting. Constellation, whenever an enchantment enters battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 two -two white Pegasus creature token with flying. I was going to say where do the uh, Pegasus creatures come from, but this is generating those. Good deal. Island and Wolf Token. Okay, so there we are, Pierre. Thank you once again. Tuck these in here. And finally, we have Carl Elwood. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So, two packs. Lucky last. Fingers crossed. So, if we can go out with a big finish here, we have Incendiary Oracle. Omen of the Sun. Triton Wave Rider. Gift of Strength, and it's the weird animal that I'm still trying to figure out. I don't know if it's been shaved or it's naturally hairless. Maybe it's a hairless cat who ran into a wall and got a bit of a pushed in nose, something like that. Rage Scarred Berserker, Iris's Blessing, Farika's Libation, Witness of Tomorrow's Rumbling Sentry. Voracious Typhon, get a load of those teeth. Actually, there's multiple heads here. It's a snake beast, but looks more like a hydra. And Uncommon's Dawn Evangel, the Triumph of Annex. Minions Return, I really hope they don't. They've been in far too many movies already. And the rare, yes, the Nadir Kraken. Creature Kraken 2-3 three for 3. Whenever you draw a card, you may pay 1. If you do put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Nadir Kraken and create a 1-1 one, one blue tentacle creature token. And a forest and a wolf token. I was sort of hoping we'd get a tentacle there. I don't know. We haven't got any yet in this video. Okay, last pack for Carl. Let's get a mythic, shall we? We have Transcendent Envoy. Stern Dismissal. Final Flare. Nexus Wardens. Temple Thief. Omen of the Sea. Thaumaturge's Familiar. Venomous Hierophant, Bronze Sword, Satyr's Cunning, and Uncommon's Whirlwind Denial, Threnody Singer, Siona Captain of the Pileas, and Rare, yes, nice pull, Nyx Lotus, Legendary Artifact for four, Nyx Lotus enters battlefield tapped, you can tap, choose a colour, add an amount of mana of that colour equal to your devotion to that colour. So, your devotion to a colour is a number of mana symbols of that colour, in the mana cost of permanence you control. Very nice indeed. And a planes and satyr token. So there we are, Carl. Thank you once again. We'll tuck these in here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.